That is so pretty. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and today I'm going to go through products that I haven't tried before. I went to the Mac store and I picked up their newly formulated Studio Fix. I am in the color N6.5. So that's a unique color for me. I have a little story about that too. I was so frustrated. I have a Laura Mercier primer. This is an illuminating primer. I think what I'll do is apply the primer on one side and this on its own. I also picked up a House Labs highlighter. I tested it out in the store and it was so pretty. I got the color Peach Quartz, so hopefully that will look nice. I'm not a huge highlighter person. My skincare and my foundation choices are usually glowy or radiant, so I don't often use a highlighter, but I think it's gonna go perfect with this because it has more of a matte finish. I also picked up the Cold Smolder Nudes from Too Faced. I'm not sure what concealer I'm going to use today. I'm gonna use Tower 28 or LYS concealer. And I ordered a NARS blush. This is the color Armor, and I'm excited to try that too. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I've had technical difficulties the past couple weeks, so I haven't been posting regularly. Thank you for sticking with me. And if you're new here, my name is Julie Meekle. I'm 52 years old. I'm a professional makeup artist, a licensed hairstylist, hoping to help you out. And I dip into fashion a little bit. I have a couple boxes over here. I'm gonna hopefully work on that today. This top is new. And I really like it. I wanted to have something light and airy, but with color, I always wear black and I love blue. This is from Zara. I have a nude bra underneath and you can't see through it. I'm just not sure about this neck. Let me know what you think. I don't know. I'm not used to a top like this, but I like it. Also, should I do it up or not? I don't know, I need help. I'm not a fashion expert, that's for sure. I just share what I like and I hope that it helps you. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me if you do. It helps my channel grow, and if you engage with my videos, it also helps the algorithm know that other people may like my video, and it recommends it to other people. So if you can even leave me a smiley face or a hello or a comment, I love getting to know you, then that would be very helpful to me. All the products that I use today are gonna to be listed in the description box for you. They are affiliate links. If you use them, it does help me out. I appreciate it. If you don't use them, that's okay. I'm just happy that you're here. And that's it, let's get on with the video. I used that new brush today. I'm addicted. I got a little bit of a wonky curl here. Maybe I'll fix that at the end. Anyway, I'm gonna put my hair back so it doesn't matter. The new brush that I'm talking about is the main, the thermal brush. Oh my gosh, do I ever like it. I feel like I wanna put my hair back too. I may ruin it, but I can fix it. So funny story, not so funny, I was actually mad. I went into the Mac store, I used to work there at our local mall. I walked in and I asked for help because I knew the colors are different and the new formulation of the Studio Fix, so I didn't know what color I was gonna be. And I had the rudest, the rudest artist, salesperson. It was just so clear she didn't wanna be there. It was so clear she didn't wanna help me. She didn't take me over to the mirror. There was nobody else in the store. She tried a color here, tried a color here, but I couldn't even see. I wasn't well lit. I was in the middle of the store. I said, oh, that's too light. And she put it down and she walked away. She was just puttering around and really not doing anything necessary. So I found my color, which was none of the colors that she chose. I should put this on my face and talk. I hope this matches me today because when I went and I had a self tan, so it may not even match today. Oh no, that's good. So I'm gonna apply this on one side of my face and then I will use the illuminating primer from Laura Mercier on the other side of my face. So I continued with my search for the proper color and it wasn't easy. And then I thought, okay, well, I found my match. I wasn't happy with her, but I was just gonna leave it alone, but then I thought, well, I look really washed out because I matched and I had gotten rid of any blush or contour. So I said, can you please grab me a bronzer or a blush so I can add some color to my face? And she said, yeah, and she just stood there. And I said, uh, can you do that for me? And she goes, yeah, just pick one. So I went and I picked one. Customer service would have been, oh, great, this would look great on you. How about you try this one? But no, she did not. This is so pretty, you guys. So I chose a bronzer and I said, can you clean that for me? And she went over, I don't even know if she cleaned it because she just looked pissy. And she kind of turned her back and did something like I couldn't see what she did. And then she just dropped it on the desk by the mirror. And then she went off and did something else. And I watched her and I was waiting for her to tell me like, there you go, here. She didn't acknowledge me at all. And she just went on and I said, sorry, is that clean? And she goes, yeah. 
when I walked up to pay for it, I handed her my pro card. I get a discount with Mac. And I said, I used to work here. I never would have left a customer without having a proper match when she specifically asked for a match. And she goes, well, I thought what I picked matched. And I said, well, it didn't. I said, you really need to work on your customer service skills. And then I asked for her name. So frustrating. Anyway, that's a story and it has nothing to do with the product. I just wanted to share my story. I will tell you about the product though. What is it about this that's reformulated? I can tell you that I walked through the mall. I had not prepped my skin properly at all. I found my color match. I put it on all over my face. There was no fresh moisturizer, no primer, no nothing. And my skin felt comfortable. It lasted, it had great coverage, and I didn't feel tight. Before I look at this, my guess is, is that it's more hydrating. It's oil-free and it's long wear, but it feels more hydrating than the original formula. So now let's look it up. The main difference with this formulation is that it has a soft matte finish rather than the original matte. Okay, that's interesting. This is from Mary Claire UK. The review says, my dry skin loved this. I found the original a little bit too dry for every day. It's far more comfortable, I would agree. It says it's a slightly different consistency. I have one, I'm gonna go check. Oh, and this one has a pump, the original doesn't which was always annoying. It was same as Estee Lauder Double Wear, didn't have a pump. This is the new formula, this is the older formula. And I just rubbed it in a little bit. And you can see that it's more hydrating for sure. I don't know why I have this color in my collection. It's not my color even when I'm tanned. The finish is definitely medium coverage but buildable. It is covering my freckles, yes. All right, so on this side I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier. If you're not new here, you know that I love the MAC Serumizer. It's the Hyper Real Serumizer. So I probably would use this, except for that I have in many other videos. And I wanna try the Laura Mercier. This will probably feel better because typically I have my skincare on and I freshly do my makeup. If I don't, I always prep my skin with something. A little bit goes a long way. I'm really interested if you have oily skin and you really relied on the formula of the old one, how you feel about this, because it is more hydrating. So this side has more of a glow and that has more matte. I really wanna make sure I get my veins here. Because I have dry skin, I feel better on this side than I do on this side, but either way, it works. Once this video is done, I'm going to be filming a try-on video, I hope. I really get hot and kind of sweaty when I do that because it's actually a lot of work. So I will be putting it to the test and I will let you know. I did walk around the mall with this the other day, so I have a good idea of what this feels like. I'm gonna wait to put my concealer on after I do my eyeshadow. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have fallout with this. I did try this already. I think it was for a TikTok video, but I haven't edited it yet. That's a hard word to say. Edited it. May not go with this today. Hmm. Should I use this shadow? I have another eyeshadow that I want to try. I wish you were here with me. I think I've changed my mind. Because I'm so fresh looking, I feel like this is kind of dark. So I've got this. This is the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick and it's in Orchid. Is it Orchid? And I think it might look really pretty with this top. Let me see. Yeah, I feel like with this top, it would be so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this, I'm sorry. So pretty. It's that easy. I'm going to let that set. I may apply another layer there, I'm not sure. It does have a sparkle. I didn't realize it was gonna be so sparkly, but I like that, but a lot of you may not like that. blending out the edge there. I feel like I need some depth. I was trying to be so organized too. I wanna to keep this cool because this is cool. You don't have to adjust your eyeshadow for your top, but doesn't this make more sense with this top? I think it does. Right, so I'm gonna shop my stash a little bit and go into my Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette. I could also use the Makeup by Mario. You know what, I could use that one, but I haven't used this one in a while. So I'm gonna go in with this color here 
That one's called Mesh. Just with a fluffy brush, I want to add some depth onto my brow bone. Give myself a little bit of a lift. That will camouflage some of the shimmer that got up here. Not that I mind. I could wear glitter everywhere. I wouldn't care. I'd love to have my car. Do you ever see those cars that are wrapped in bling? When I look at those, I think, oh, I would love that. Like ruby slippers in Wizard of Oz. This just brings it all together. Nice, soft, fresh look. That's what I want. I may try some lashes today. I was gifted some lashes from a brand that I hadn't heard of before. Do I feel lucky today? I don't know. Last video I did that, the inner part of the lash was flapping as I was talking. How embarrassing. By the way, this was an A503, Angie Hot and Flashy BK Beauty. And this one is a refer number 13. I don't know if refer still has their sale. These are really good. I'll always have the links in my description box for you. I'm gonna go into mesh and a bit of stone. Just tap into both of them. I want a little bit of depth down here. I don't know if I should wear this ring like this. That does have green in it. That's why I turned it that way. But I can turn it around and wear it like this. I think I like this better. I keep seeing it in the monitor and yeah, I feel better with that one. So tapping it again and going underneath. I'm gonna do the same thing, tapping into those two colors and placing it on the outer third of my eyeshadow. Is there a right order of application for your eyeshadow? Not really. I watch a beautiful makeup artist. She's so talented. She has her own makeup line and I don't know where she's from. I'll put a picture of her right here and she applies eyeshadow like I do. And when I saw her, I thought, oh, yay, <laughs> I'm so glad because as I was watching YouTube videos years ago, I was thinking, have I been doing it wrong the whole time? The answer is no, do whatever you feel is right. It is art. It's your art therapy. It's your form of expression. If it makes you feel good to apply it one way versus another, just do it. It's fine. I'm only gonna dip into mesh now, same brush, and I'm going to make sure it's all connected right in there. I tinted my eyebrows last night. I love the color. I chose something a little bit different. I used a hair color actually, and I had far more control over it. I'm gonna take a little bit of a thinner brush. This is a number 28 by Refer. I'm gonna go into Vogue, just with the tip, and Pull it right underneath the lash line. Just to give it a little bit more depth there. I'm gonna go back over this again. Let's see how it builds. I would like to see more of that purple or more of the orchid color. and I'm just tapping it to make sure that the edges are blended. Yeah, and I think that's good. Many of you have been telling me to try the Tower 28. I'm still not sure if I got the right color. I got five EP. What does EP mean? I'd like to know. It's hard to tell in those lights. I don't know if you've noticed this about me, but I don't like to go really light underneath the eye. I think it brings out all my wrinkles. It enhances all the lines. That is my trick for you. If you're over 50 or over 40, if you have texture under your eyes, don't go too light because it's like a highlight. It will enhance your texture and yeah, we're not 20. It doesn't work that way for us. Clean up the line. That's why sometimes I'll pull my foundation right up underneath my eye. Like I could have done that with this foundation. Yeah, that works. I wonder how they describe this color on the website. I'm gonna check in a minute. Tap it 
Tower 28 Concealer 5E. P. Yeah, so this is considered a light neutral. Yay, I got it right. On the Sephora website, it says that it has a natural finish without silicones, non comedogenic, medium coverage, fragrance free, natural finish, it has hyaluronic acid to hydrate, centella. I love centella. It's an ingredient that's new to me over the past year and I love it. Centella asiatica leaf extract which smooths and calms sensitive skin. Lysine supports the production of collagen and repairs and prevents dryness. Well, so far so good. Let's let that sit for a minute. I have so many mascaras on the go. I wanna try and use some up. I'm gonna use the MAC In Extreme Dimension Mascara. First, I have to curl my lashes. My daughter texted me the other day asking me what lash curler I would recommend. She has large eyes, large round eyes, and the lash curler that she's using it doesn't get all of her lashes in. I always say Shiseido, but this is a Shuaruma lash curler. It works really well. Shiseido will work as well. Let me know in the comments, do you have a recommendation? I don't know what brand she's using right now, but it's missing the edges and she's not happy about it. I'm just gonna take some of the product off here. Look at how much product is on the brush. I don't know how I got mascara in there. I'm messy, but actually this video is going pretty smooth. I haven't made mistakes, I don't think. That's very unlike me. Okay, I'm going to let that set before I go on to the bottom lashes. My lips are so dry though. I wanna put a little bit of lip balm on. I went this whole time without. No wonder, my lips are dry. Right, so I used Schwarzkopf 7-1 for my brows, Agora Royale, and no I didn't. Did I? No, I used 7-1 Color 10 by Schwarzkopf and 30 volume. So the seven means that it's not gonna go darker than a natural level seven, and my hair color is a natural level seven. And the reason I chose a one, a dash one, is because that cuts the warmth. And even though I have warm hair, I don't want orangey red looking brows. If I use just a seven natural, I find it's a little warm. So I like the seven dash one because it cools it off just a bit. If my eyebrows are too warm, too orangey or too red, like if they look like my hair color, it affects my makeup. Like it doesn't look bad, but I feel like I then have to coordinate with my eyebrows. But if they're neutral, I can wear whatever I want. Oh, I forgot I was gonna try lashes. There's no point of doing multiple coats of mascara if you're gonna do lashes. Oh, okay, well, I have little spoolies here that I got on Amazon and I like them to just comb through. It takes excess mascara off if I need to. It combs through my lashes a little bit. Okay, that's a bit better. And this is fine, I only did one coat on this side. I'm going to use MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash for my bottom lashes. I got a new Turby Twist. Well, it's not a Turby Twist. I don't know what the name of this is. Kitsch, this is my hair towel. I used it for the first time today. I did wash it first. I like that it's black. It's hard to find black. And oftentimes, like if I'm not filming, I'll have this on when I'm doing my makeup. I tend to get makeup on my towels. Since it's already damp, I often will wipe my hands on it if I get makeup on them. But this is black, so I'm not gonna ruin it. I really like it, it feels luxurious. When I went into Sephora the other day, I picked up an old product, it went viral years ago. Was it this that went viral or was it Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow? This is in Warm Golden Blonde. It's the color that matches me the best. Oh, that's kind of a cute package. Why, why is it like that? I bet you it's to wipe the excess product on the edges, maybe? That's cool. I have a MAC 2, oh gosh, looks like a MAC 208. Can you see that? Is that 223 or 208? 208 or 203? I, I don't know. It's nice and thin and small. Sometimes I think my eyebrows look a bit fake. Well, a lot of the times, because they are fake. So I thought if I could get some brush strokes with the pomade that look like hair, like right there. I don't necessarily want to fill in my whole brow because then it becomes quite solid. It's not as warm as I thought it was going to be. Okay. I 
I should zoom you in. Maybe if I zoom you in, I can see. Now that looks good. So with this, I haven't filled all of this in because I don't need to. But the line is strong enough that it looks like a hair or could look like a hair if I even used a smaller brush. Let me just fill in right here. What do we think? Like I'm choosing my placement. And then when I brush, it's not moving. You see, that's the problem I've been having is when I use other products like powders or, or even pencils, when I comb through, I lose it sometimes. This will be the test on this side because this has more holes right here. Some people are so good at their brows. I wouldn't say it's my best skill. Okay, so that's a little heavy there. And if I just run through, just to soften it. And I think the color matches my tinted brows. stronger here I'm going to clean this up a little bit I'll use this concealer too because it was a great color it's not gonna look too light I need a good carving out brush uh, let me see this is a Beely brush I have it in my Amazon storefront Who recommended the Tower 28? I know somebody on my lives keeps telling me. Oh, I'm sorry, I forget. Okay, I'm really happy with this. Those two lashes are dancing again. They just love each other so much. I think that looks good. I'm glad I got that. Okay, that's a keeper for sure. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Artist Bronzer number 15. This is Wild Sand. I'm gonna use my Beely brush. The reason I'm using this brush is because I can place it exactly where I want it to go if I press with a light hand. And then the more I press, the more it's gonna blend. So I'm going to lightly dip the tip and place the bronzer where I want it to go. Right in there. And then as I press, you see how it's spreading the hairs out? So it's going to diffuse the product the more pressure I put. And that's the same with your eyeshadow brushes. So if you touch really light, you're gonna be very specific with the placement if you do it with a light hand. And then when you press, more bristles will be touching your eye and it will diffuse it. I compared the Makeup Forever to House Labs the other day. The House Labs did win on that one, but the Makeup Forever was number 30 and this is number 15, so it's different. The number 30 was darker. They both have beautiful formulations. Nice and soft and buildable. Now for the new blush. I have a couple of blushes that I can try. My plan is to use the NARS. Will I even be able to see this? Got the color Armor. Let's try it. I think it'll be fine. I'm gonna use a refer number five. I wanted to compare this to House Lab's Pomelo Peach. I could. That's pretty. I got some temple filler the other day, just so you know. 
It looks a little bit bumpy there, but that's just swelling, it will go down. If you're interested in cosmetic treatments, I do have a video up. It was a live stream that I did with Nurse Chelsea. She answered a bunch of questions. She explained things really well. So if you're interested in that, go take a look. I got talking and I forgot about Pomelo Peach. That's okay, I really like this. That's really pretty. I love this for a couple reasons. I love the color and it's not so pigmented that when I put it on, I have to work to blend it out. Like I can build this and I prefer a blush like that. Really pretty. Armor is described as a matte warm pink. It says that it's long wearing. I'm gonna be able to wear this makeup all day and all night. Everything is long wearing that I'm wearing. That sounds funny. Fan favorite press powder, now in an upgraded telc-free formula that lasts for up to 16 hours, featuring true color payoff with comfortable weightless feel. Everything about my face feels weightless. It says it blurs the look of imperfections. It has super fine micronized pigments. It's silky and blendable. Yes, it is. It's silky and it's blendable. It's really pretty. I like that a lot. I'm gonna brighten up right here just a little bit. Try not to put too much. This is the Sephora eyeliner. This is a Sephora eyeliner in coconut. What should I do for lips? Oh, I got a gloss. I ordered the lip gloss from Lawless. This is Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Lip Smoothing Gloss. Why are the names so long, why? This is in Lavender Sorbet. That's gonna match. Should I try it on without a lip liner first? Hold on. It looks like a little ballet slipper. It hugs the lips and it does allow for you to get right on the edges. It doesn't plump up to the point of pain. I am gonna put a lip liner on. Let me take my hair down. I didn't get a new lip liner, but I don't think I've shown this one before. This is by Buxom. It has a little brush on one side, which I never use. It's a roll up pencil. I'm just gonna create a little bit of a line just for some depth. Do I have any goopies? No, I don't think so. No, it passed the test. I hate that when that happens. It has a little bit of a tingle, kind of like Buxom lip glosses. I don't find that they're burny in any way and uncomfortable. It just feels like it's got a little bit of, little bit of something. A lip gloss will automatically make your lips look plumper. Anything that draws the light to an area will make them look plumper. Okay, let's check out the concealer. No, that's good. Let's check out the foundation. This is a side without any primer. It is comfortable. I don't find that I'm seeing any, you know, extra texture at all. This is a side with the illuminating primer. This side feels more comfortable, but this side doesn't feel uncomfortable. I'm gonna touch up a little bit with powder. I'm gonna use a touch of House Labs right in here. Yeah, that looks better to me. And right there. In between my eyebrows always needs a little bit. It smooths out the texture there. Do I need anything under my eyes? I feel like I want to just to be sure, but it really has increased. I'm gonna use a little bit of setting spray. From my normal to dry skin, I honestly don't think I need it, but I will anyway for the video. <laughs> Plus I will be sweating. I don't know how people do it without ruining their hair. Like you add water to my hair and it goes fuzzy. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I love this look. I'm happy with everything. I'm a little surprised at the sparkle that this has, but I love it. If you don't like sparkle, if you don't like shine, that's not gonna be for you but I love the color. I can't wait to get the Danessa Myricks color fix in because it is matte. I think I'm gonna really like it. Should we do a quick review or is this when you get bored? 
I love the new formula of the Studio Fix Foundation. It is gorgeous. Is there anything I haven't said about this? I don't think so. If you have oily skin and you've tried the new formulation, let us know in the comments. I do have oily skin viewers and I'd love to help them out. I almost forgot something, again. I wanted to try the House Labs highlighter. I put it on my hand in the store and it is really pretty. Get open. This is a Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlighter with Fermented Arnica. It's vegan, it gives a radiant finish, obviously, and it is just so pretty. What I loved about this in the store is that it made my hand look almost wet looking. I really like my makeup right now, but I have to do it. I'm gonna take a nice, light, fluffy brush. This is an eyeshadow brush. It's number 27 by Refer. I wanna have a lot of control over it. Does it have glitter? No, I'm gonna smooth it in with my finger. I almost see sparkle. Let me zoom you in. Is there a sparkle? Yeah, I kind of feel like there's a little remnants of sparkle there. And I didn't see that in the store. Hmm, I don't know if I like that I can see sparkles. I wish I didn't do it on both sides. Okay, this one is Bobbi Brown. I'm just gonna do one swipe. And this one is House Labs. I mean, it's not bad. I'm gonna put some on my cheek, I'll get it off. Right there is Bobbi Brown, okay? I'll have to do it on the other side. And that's House Labs. I would say that this is more natural. It's a softer highlight. It's not as reflective. And this one has just tiny micro micro little glitter particles. Very tiny though, not bad. My personal taste goes for this one. It's just a little bit more elegant in my opinion compared to this one. But that's heavy, like they're, bo they're both placed heavy and in the wrong spot. I gotta fix that now. Let's erase. <laughs> I'm glad I did that, I like it. I thought I would like it more. The formula is really nice, it's soft, it's pretty. But if I had to buy one and your taste is like mine, I would go with the Bobbi Brown. Do I have to touch up my hair? I'd like to try to get this away from my face. Let's see if I can zhuzh it up a little bit. Yeah, like that, that easy. I think what I love about this tool so much is I can keep running it through. Have you ever straightened your hair or curled your hair and you know it kind of loses its elasticity? That's because all the moisture is gone. And this, I can continue to run this through and it will not feel dry. My hair stays shiny. That's the biggest thing and soft. All right, now I'm done. <laughs> I'm happy with everything. I am happy with the House Labs highlighter. What I'm seeing is so small. It's a minor detail that I don't think everybody would notice and everything else looks great. I have no complaints. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. I love the community of women that I have here on my channel and I'd love for you to join. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.